The purpose of this video is to analyze the physics behind why golf balls skip across water. The main reason why golf balls skip across water is because of a phenomenon known as surface tension. Surface tension is formed by the hydrogen bonding of water molecules. Because of the polarity of water atoms, the atoms are attracted to one another and form a strong bond. This allows the water to serve as a solid surface and to hold objects up through the strength of the hydrogen bonds. The force diagram displays what forces are acting on the golf ball to allow it to skip across water. First, there are opposite forces known as the normal force and the gravitational force. Because of the normal force, when the golf ball hits the water, the water pushes the golf ball back up. Next, there is a friction force. The friction force slows the ball down and eventually brings it to a stop. Also, the friction force is the cause for the golf ball going shorter and shorter on each skip. Lastly, the golf ball naturally has backspin on it. Like the normal force, the backspin helps the ball bounce off the water and be repelled back into the air. Next, water surface is rarely flat. Because of this, the golf ball will sometimes land on an incline and sometimes on a decline. The slope that the ball lands on will dictate the path that the ball will take. For instance, in example one, the ball landed on an incline. Because of this, the ball went higher and with more spin. In example two, the ball landed on a decline. As a result, the ball went lower and with less spin. This demonstrates how the surface of the water dictates where the ball will go. When golf balls hit the water, they create a crater. This crater may slow the ball and even cause the ball not to skip. Because of the presence of the crater, in order to skip, golf balls must be traveling fast enough and they must come in at a low enough angle. For instance, if a ball comes into the water from a large angle such as 60 degrees, the crater will be too deep for the ball to get out of. Also, if the ball is coming in too slowly, it will not have enough speed to overcome the crater and skip across the water. Consequently, the ball will hit the water and be stopped, causing it to sink rather than to skip. Using these techniques previously mentioned, one will be able to skip a golf ball across water similarly to the way Vijay Singh did. Even though skipping a ball across water may look easy and unsophisticated, there is actually a large amount of physics behind why it happens. I hope you thought this was an interesting topic and an interesting video, and I thank you for watching.